The powers of the president are very substantial and will not be questioned. I came here to speak on behalf of Donald Trump. I think this country needs 50 Adolf Hitler's, quite frankly. One for every state. You can't be citing Japanese internment camps as precedent for anything the president-elect is going to do. Hitler made no secret of the fact that a vote for the Nazis was a vote for dictatorship. I have an article, too, where I have the right to do whatever I want. And the bottom line is the president's powers represent the apex of executive authority. We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. The U.S. Marshals killed him. That's the way it has to be. There has to be retribution when you have crime like this. The President of the United States basically sanctioning extrajudicial killings. <laughs> Should we do the pledge? I swear I'm going to vote for Donald Trump. Look, the president needs to protect America first, and if that means having people that are not protected under our Constitution... You get the protections once you come here. I will restore law and order to our country. A rudderless government watched fascists and communists fight on the streets as the local Prussian police force failed dismally to maintain order. A number of state and local governments have failed to take necessary action to safeguard their residents. Into this maelstrom walked Adolf Hitler, promising order, safety and self-respect, and a new dawn for Germany. Our nation has been gripped by professional anarchists. The German people looked towards a party or a government that would bring order to the streets. This is our mission, and we will succeed. The people had voted for security. What they got was enforcement. That is why I am taking immediate presidential action. The initial tools were basic, but effective. The SA, or stormtroopers. We're seeing uh, militias on the street endorsed by the president. Hitler's ambitions required absolute power, but this was not yet within his grasp. To achieve it, he had to suppress an active array of opposing political forces. The United States of America will be designating Antifa as a terrorist organization. The looseness of Antifa basically means that any leftist or potentially anyone who's even been in a protest could be labeled as Antifa. And pro-Trump Congressman Matt Gates kind of gave away the game, tweeting, Now that we clearly see Antifa as terrorists, can we hunt them down like we do those in the Middle East? Claiming that God had ordained that they be beaten down with an iron fist. And in Washington, D.C., where the president has jurisdiction, President Trump acting with force. Protesters facing off against authorities, kneeling and raising their hands in peaceful demonstration. But then, almost suddenly, U.S. Park and Secret Service police began shoving and hitting striking this Australian news crew, and then, in a made-for-reality TV primetime moment, the president and his entourage left the White House and walked through that park where protesters had been cleared moments earlier. There, the president held up a Bible for the cameras, standing in various poses for a full minute and a half. After calling the Minneapolis protesters thugs, he wrote, when the looting starts, the shooting starts. Now we're learning more about the teenager charged with intentional homicide after shooting two protesters dead during a night of mayhem. Rittenhouse attended a Trump rally in Iowa in January and sat in the front row not far from the president. We've seen four years of chaos here, and, and yet we're being told that this is law and order. Trump has openly embraced supporters of the far-right conspiracy theory QAnon. People that are in the dark shed. People that you haven't heard of, they're, they're people that are on the streets, they're people that are controlling the streets. We're seeing the administration echo a conspiracy theory that looks a, really a great deal like the Protocols of the Elders of Zion, the uh, early 20th century conspiracy that Judeo-Bolsheviks were behind liberalism and controlled the media. The international banks plot the destruction of U.S. sovereignty. This mixture of uh, uh, wealthy elite uh, and communists is reminiscent of some of the worst conspiracy theories uh, of the 20th century. Any Jewish people that vote for a Democrat, it shows either a total lack of knowledge or great disloyalty. And the real, I know why you're not going to support me. And, you know, you're not going to support me because I don't want your money. You don't want to give me money, okay? But that's okay. You want to control your own politicians. These are just dishonest, terrible people. I'm telling you that. Terrible people. Isn't it amazing how, you know, they don't even want to look
look at you first. Die Gegner werfen uns Nationalsozialisten vor, dass wir intolerant und unverträgliche Menschen sein. They consider you deplorable and irredeemable also. so we can sue the media. These people back here, these horrible, horrendous people, you are the enemy of the people. Hitler said that those Germans he considered racially pure were better than anyone else. You know, I'm proud to have that German blood, there's no question about it. I guess the, the question is, is there a war between the West and radical Islam, or is there a war between well, the West and Islam? It's itself? radical, but it's very hard to define. It's very hard to, to separate, because you don't know who's who. You have to take out their families. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. I'd blow up every single inch. There would be nothing left. You have to wipe out their homes where they came from. You have to absolutely wipe them out. I'm not just saying it. I'll never use a nuclear weapon not, in Europe. I am not taking cards off. They will be met with fire and fury. Trump is the most dangerous figure in human history. Literally, there has been no one else who was dedicated to destroying the prospects of human life on Earth in the short term. When that political party just becomes taken over by a social and political movement devoted to one leader. 12 more years. <laughs> We caught them doing some really bad things in 2016. Let's see what happens. And that, I fear, is what we're seeing. If Hitler didn't consider you a true German, then suddenly you were at risk. He is reigniting yet another controversy, backing an end to birthright citizenship, which guarantees citizenship to babies born in the United States. It comes as the administration announced another controversial plan to indefinitely detain undocumented migrants caught traveling with their children. Homeland Security is holding some of these children in cages. We don't want them in our country. Martin Niemöller was a German clergyman. In 1944, as a prisoner in the Nazi death camp at Dachau, he wrote the following. In Germany, they came first for the communists. And I didn't speak up because I wasn't a communist. Then they came for the Jews. And I didn't speak up because I wasn't a Jew. Then they came for the trade unionists. And I didn't speak up because I wasn't a trade unionist. Then they came for the Catholics. And I didn't speak up because I was a Protestant. Then they came for me. And by that time, nobody was left to speak up. 